So, I had my last spring break last week, and I did what I do every spring break. I go back to my hometown, and I lay on my parents' couch for a week. And originally, I was planning to do a Thoughts from Places video from my hometown. It was going to be all about going home again and what that meant to me, but that didn't feel really sincere. I wasn't really feeling that when I was there. And then I came back to my college town and my classes and all that entails, and the nostalgia finally hit me when I was walking around campus to get to classes. It has to be said that Texas State really is a beautiful campus. Now is the time of year when all the flowers begin to bloom and all the trees brighten up, and there are trees everywhere. Oh my god, are there trees. There's almost as many trees as there are stairs. But as I was saying, I got back to campus and the way that I viewed the university had changed. I got some news over the break that I'll talk about more in my next video that meant that I wouldn't be coming back to Texas State University next year for my master's. And while I was excited for the future, I was kind of sad to see the place go. I looked at the large fighting Mustang statue that is often set as a meeting place. And then I went to the other side of the quad and I looked at the President LBJ statue which students often decorate for holidays and give high fives for good luck. Fun fact, by the way, my university is the only one in Texas to have a student who eventually became a president. Anyways, the quad was where most of my classes had been, and it was often overflowing with students all bustling to and from classes while booths handed out flyers or tried to get you to buy stuff. And while looking at all of this contemplatively, it occurred to me that we appreciate places the most when we are leaving them. And I wonder why that is. Like, look at the Taylor Murphy building. It has this gorgeous Spanish tiled courtyard in the middle of it for no other reason but to enrich our lives. And I don't think I had truly marveled at it properly uh, since the first time that I had found it during my sophomore year. Texas State University has a lot of places like that. Little places with little memories attached to them. This is where I read this book, or this is where I sat to cram for that test. But those little memories make up the tapestry that has been my life for the last four years. And it makes it hard to think that I'll be leaving it all soon. But I won't be too sad because I think that's kind of a part of our lives. We find places to make nests of memories and friendships. And when we outgrow them, then it's time to leave again. I might be leaving Texas State University, but I know I've outgrown my nest and that I need to move on to keep growing. I can only hope that my next nest will be just as invigorating and just as beautiful. Thank you for listening and goodbye.